is your website showing not secure uh, there could be plenty of reasons for that like you haven't installed any SSL certificate on your site or uh, it could be your SSL certificate is expired or you have haven't properly configured to your website so in this video I am going to show you how you can fix this not secure connection error so stay tuned hey guys my name is Prane and you are watching Proveck Tips YouTube channel as I have mentioned earlier uh, I am going to show you how you can fix not secure issue on your website so there could be uh, plenty of reasons for that like uh, your site uh, haven't any SSL certificate and uh, or could be your SSL certificate ex expired so first easy method that is you must uh, uh, configure your DNS to Cloudflare Cloudflare is a free uh, DNS management and uh, CDN provider also they have paid plans but uh, I will suggest you to use the free plan as you can see I have configured my domain to uh, Cloudflare and I need to go on the uh, SSL and TLS section as you can see and then we need to select flexible option okay the flexible option uh, and then okay now I'm going to show you in a incognito mode that our SSL certificate is working okay it will uh, take a little time Okay, now you can see it's working uh, now the second method is if in case you are uh, using any uh, cloud server or uh, VPS you can install uh, very simply by visiting the uh, let's encrypt certbot website you have to search first certbot on Google and then the first link you can see click on it and then uh, scroll down and you will get uh, here the instruction about my HTTP website is running you have to select the software which uh, uh, web server is using your cloud server like uh, uh, I have installed uh, the uh, server on uh, uh, Vulture cloud hosting as you can see here and I am using Apache web server on it so I am going to select Apache uh, so you can select if you have nginx there is a method you can check uh, what kind of HTTP server is using your hosting so as you can see uh, first of all you need to copy your IP address then open your terminal then type shh then uh, username that is root at that then you have to paste your public IP address then hit enter it will prompt you to enter your password so I am going to just copy the uh, server password from here and paste it here and hit enter ok now it's uh, connected to the <coughs> Ubuntu server as you can see here now I am going to show you the um, HTTP server which kind of I am using so in case you are using Apache web server just execute this uh, following command sudo service apache to status okay in case uh, uh, then hit enter and you can see it is running that means apache is installed on our uh, hosting and how you can check it's uh, nginx installed or not so again type sudo service uh, nginx nginx and status okay now you can see uh, until nginx uh, dot service could not be found that means the nginx uh, 
HTTP server is not installed on our server. So you have to make sure which kind of HTTP server are using okay, your system. So our system is using Apache. So we are going to select first Apache and then uh, we have to select the system. So we are using Ubuntu. Here is all the operating system is mentioned. Uh, so the Ubuntu is very popular. If you are using Debian, so you can also use Debian. And then you can see the all detail information. You have to select this one default. Uh, first of all, we need to install SnapD. But you know, uh, Ubuntu is already uh, comes with SnapD, so I need to install that. Uh, in whatever case, if you are using uh, Debian, then you have to execute the following uh, following command: sudo apt install snap d okay and in case if you are using centos then use the following command sudo yum install snap d okay uh, but uh, we are not using uh, any uh, centos system so this command not work and you can see here yum command not found so next step so our next step is uh, refresh the snap core so copy the following command from here and paste it on your terminal and then hit enter it will download the core snap uh, files okay as you can see the canonical is installed and in case if you already installed any certbot auto or any certbot OS packages, you can remove by using the following command uh, sudo apt get uh, remove certbot. Uh, this is a uh, fresh uh, system. I haven't installed anything except the web server and the uh, uh, forum application, as you can see, that is our website. So, and if we execute the uh, remove command, it will show the set board is not installed. Okay, but you can, uh, however, you can execute the command to remove in case if if your uh, system already has. And now we are going to install the uh, set board. So execute the command sudo snap install classic set board. Okay. Then hit enter. Okay, the setboard is installed now, and now uh, we need to uh, symlink uh, the uh, following directory. So copy the command and paste it on the terminal. Then hit enter. The linking is done. Now we are going to install the certificate. So use. Uh, you can install uh, for whole server or you can uh, install just one certificate for one domain you can use uh, the particular command so first one uh, is sudo certbot apache and the second one is sudo cert only certbot cert only apache so i am going to use the uh, the first one okay now uh, we need to enter our email address Okay. Showing uh, uh, please read the terms and services. You can read by clicking here or just type Y and hit enter. And then the third bot is asking to share your email address with them. So you can type Y and no and no. whatever your choice you can choose here. So I'm going to choose Y and hit enter. Now it will uh, give the domain name uh, which I am going to install the HTTPS uh, SSL certificate. So here uh, you can see the domain and here we need to select just one, the first one. So type one. And here you can see successfully deployed the certificate for uh, help on a and for this domain okay 
SSL certificate is installed and you can check also the auto renewal it's working or not so I execute the following command sudo certboard renew uh, then dry run it will show you that the certificate uh, renewal is uh, working or not as you can see account is registered so that means our uh, auto renewal is working and now uh, the post uh, process what you need to do in case if you configure with the uh, uh, cloudflare uh, you have to change the ssl setting as you can see in the ssl setting first you have to go to ssl se section then if you uh, <coughs> selected the flexible option you have to choose this one the full one okay because our origin server also has a SSL certificate now so we need to select this one and if we type here HTTPS okay now it's working perfectly and we can we can also run some testing uh, as you can see uh, this uh, sites are uh, proxied with the uh, cloudflare uh, so you can uh, dis uh, off or disable the proxy you can also only use the dns so it will also work without uh, proxying the domain so that is a benefit installing a certificate in your uh, origin server so that's it guys for this video and if this video was helpful for you please like and subscribe our channel and thanks for watching have a nice day